Hi guys and welcome to another unboxing video with Thomas. I must admit I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be unboxing today, but I'm going to be doing it while enjoying a crisp glass of refreshing beer. A Hedrochion to be specific. Cheers guys. Ah, very tasty. So the uh, box is um, not very helpfully marked. All it says is from Kowloon. And frankly, the vast majority of keyboards I get in come out of Kowloon nowadays. So I'm not 100% sure. I think I know what it is. But by the time this uh, goes onto YouTube, it will feature it in the description anyway. So we'll see. Right. Pull tab. I can't get to. to. Motherfucker. Okay. Needs more violence, clearly. There you go. Uh, is there paper in it? No. A very interestingly packed keyboard. Must have been a big FedEx bag. It looks like it's folded in several times. Okay. Am I correct? I think it is, judging by the logo. Yes, it is in fact the Wombat Coleus. Get rid of that. layer of bubble wrap. Ah, very nice. This is my favorite brand of lager, by the way. It's uh, very nice. Very crisp, very refreshing. Right. Slaughter all this bubble wrap. There you go, the Wombat Coleus, or Coleus, or whatever you're supposed to pronounce it as. Hmm. Come on, come on. Man, it doesn't want to give up its secrets. There you go. Ooh, it's even got a sleeve on it. So this is a uh, low-profile keyboard, and judging by this carrying sleeve. They really went with the uh, portability theme. <coughs> Excuse me. Fucking hell. Beer always, always gets me so, so gassy. <coughs> and a dongle. Makes sense. It's almost certainly wireless. Um, do do do. Keyboard, USB A to C adapter, and the other way around. Blah blah blah. Some stuff in here. Probably just a quick reference card. A cable, USB C to C. Looks very familiar. This. I think this is a rebrand of an existing cable. Um, two. And this looks like a rebrand. It's not actually branded. Um, a version of a key puller and switch puller that I already have as well. These are pretty nice though. That's a useful design. Some extra keys. Oh god, they look really weird. Look how weird these keycaps look. It's it's like Lego or something. The color definitely helps that impression as well. Um, so that's one adapter, and that's the opposite adapter. It's A to C and C to A. Makes sense. Ah, and then here's the meat and potatoes. What's all this? Wow, that is uh, a lot of warnings, General. Bloody hell. Very multicultural. Go 
that way. Now, I think that's uh, all. Yeah, that seems like it's all. Key. So, there you go. Actually, it looks quite interesting. It's pretty simple, not too heavy, fairly light, makes sense for a portable keyboard. A sticker for, well, it looks like a touch bar, except not with a screen on it. So it's really just a strip, reflective strip, reflective strip. Get away. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Go away. Uh, yeah, like that. Cool. Uh, low profile brown switches. Well, might as well put this key puller to good use. I'm already smudging that nice bar at the top. Yeah, they are brown switches. Gator, gator on low profile brown switches. That's them. Hmm. Interesting. I think off the top of my head, they do this keyboard in linear and tactile versions. Oh my god, it's so linear. Uh, linear and tactile versions. And I was really thinking, why not clicky ones? I guess. Portable and clicky is not a great combination, but I think that would just feel a lot better. My god, this is some of the weakest tactility I've ever felt. Anyway, I'm not really doing the review at the moment. I just want to get some first impressions in. I'm going to guess that this is where you have to stick the batteries. Uh, or maybe that's the on and off button, and this is not a volume knob, but a... No, it does look like a volume knob. So where did the bleeding batteries go then? I guess it's, uh, oh, that's a bit stupid. <laughs> it looks like this houses the batteries here, but of course it doesn't. It's just got one of those um, lithium ion batteries that you can charge. That's a bit silly of me. Right. I think Apple do a keyboard that have a very similar setup to this, by the way. Hmm. Let's test this out. I saw a little flash. Um, let's see if I can get this to work. Okay, so it is actually working. I just don't see the backlight. Yeah, definitely don't see any backlight going on. Must be a button for that. Uh, oh my god, it's fucking... Is it set up for Mac again? Oh, no, I, I think, think not. Hmm button for backlight doesn't see doesn't look like it does anything what's this yeah that's, that is volume that does work properly uh, I think there's a manual in here is there I guess the uh, user manual can be found with the uh, QR code provided hmm. I just kind of want to have a look at that, but I'm just not sure how that works. I mean, the button for backlight brighter does look very obvious. Looks like a faux leather sleeve with ma magnets sewn in. That's nice. So you can uh, close it like that. Wombat logoed. Hmm, interesting. I... I can't think of it. I think the styling of this is kind of weird when you look at the keyboard itself. I'm not sure it fits it all that well, but oh well. Anyway, it doesn't matter too much. Um, how can I light this fucker? Got some really weird buttons on it on the left side. Hmm, and P. 
queue and put oh, this home page up and page down, I guess. And then some secondary shortcuts to calendar. Anyway, have a look at it yourself. I'm not quite sure you can see it, but I think it's those multimedia buttons that were a bit popular a few years ago. You know, start your calculator, start. It looks like a compass. It's probably maps or something. Calculator. Internet Explorer, whatever. Let's see. Oh, there you go. I think I found the uh, the backlight button. So the other one must be some other form of brightness. Interesting. Let's have a look. What that's like in the dark. Oh, <laughs> that does look cool. Look at that. That is actually, <laughs> oh man, that would fit well in my living room. My living room is basically a sort of neon black light rave cave <laughs> right now. That actually looks very cool. That's that's interesting backlighting. It, it doesn't look like it's per key backlighting. It looks like it's backlighting all over the place. Again, let me show you that in a little bit more detail. No, it does look like it's per key. It's just really interestingly done. Wow, that's pretty mesmerizing. <laughs> How do they do that then? I think it's just an optical illusion. Man, that is some of the most... I'm normally not even a backlighting person, but this is really cool. <laughs> wow. Excellent. Nice. Hmm. Cool. I'm not entirely sure when I'll be able to get to the review itself, or if I'll be able to get to the review itself, because bloody hell, I'm really, really busy of late. I'm, I do kind of want to feature this in a video, but I don't know. I, I can't make any promises yet. In any case, at that time, I'll do a proper review of everything. I don't really want to... Uh, give too much in-depth information because I just got it and wouldn't be very informed if I said anything now, but anyway. So that was that unboxing. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next episode.